Okay, this video is going to be for the topical ointment we're going to make with camphor, menthol, eutectic, and salicylic acid. So first I'm going to start off with preparing my ingredients by weighing them out and also measuring out my mineral oil. I also will use a container for dispensing and our glass mortar and pestle. On the table, we are going to have another ointment pad. We're going to be taping it down so it does remain in place. And then with our clean glass mortar and pestle, we're going to first put in the camphor and menthol. So first I have in here menthol. You'll notice it's a very crystalline material. And then next I'm going to add in the camphor. The camphor is almost like a waxy uh, sort of material. So these are very hard to crush down and make into fine powders. So when you incorporate those into a ointment or cream, they're going to act very gritty. So here we're going to make the eutectic. You'll notice that I'm going to take the mortar and pestle. I'm going to start triturating them. As I triturate them, and you'll see in this close-up shot, that they start to liquefy. They almost turn into a syrup. Now, this isn't quite yet ready, but as I keep triturating it, you will start to see more of those solid materials start to turn into the eutectic mixture. So here I'm just speeding it up for us, but trying to get the edges off and make sure, again, that there's no particles that are not incorporated into the eutectic. Everything is a liquefied mass. Once that is done... <clears throat> The next thing that I will do is I will weigh out my ointment, my petrolatum. That's going to be on an ointment pad. I'm going to use a spatula. There's two different spatula sizes. I'm going to use the bigger size here. I'm going to use that to scrape off my white petrolatum from the white paper. Once now it's on the pad, I'm going to use a smaller one. That's the one I'm going to use primarily to scrape things and to reincorporate things into. So I'm going to take about one third of that pile of petrolatum and I'm going to add the eutectic that is now formed. And you'll notice here a little off screen, but you'll start to see it fall into the ointment and it's almost like a syrupy consistency. So I'm going to spatulate that, mix it into that ointment. Again, the amount of white petrolatum that I weighed is the total amount of white petrolatum that I calculated in my formula. So I have the total amount of ointment on that center pile and then I'm just using one third of it. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is incorporate my salicylic acid. Now, because it's a powder, I'm not going to incorporate it directly into the ointment. So I'm going to use a levigating agent here. I'm using my mineral oil that will incorporate well with petrolatum. So I'm going to put a little bit on. And my goal now is to use my spatula and start to get those big chunks out and form a paste. So as I go back and forth, I'm going to continuously adding small amounts of that mineral oil until I get a uniform paste consistency out of that. Once that is done, now I know that I'm not going to get any dry chunks in the ointment when it's finished. So I'm going to, again, take another, about a third of that white petrolatum that I have in the pile directly in front of me, and I'm going to incorporate that. So right there, I'm taking some of that, and I'm going to incorporate that into there. So now, ultimately, I'm going to have three piles in front of me. I'm going to have one pile that has the eutectic with petrolatum. The other pile has the levigated cell, so acid with white petrolatum. And then I have another pile with just plain petrolatum. My goal here is to geometrically mix all three of these piles into one uniform mixture. So you're going to see me do that here. I'm going to be taking those two piles of the salicylic acid and the eutectic and mixing those together. <clears throat> and once I get that, I'm going to start to incorporate, again, a little bit of that ointment, about the same exact size as the mass that I have originally. As I go back and forth, notice I'm using the spatula that's smaller to scrape off some of the excess ointment that starts to creep up or around. I'm also trying to keep the area clean. Watch out very carefully with using that paper. If you do scrape the paper too hard, you will rip it. So do carefully when you're scraping the paper to accumulate all the ointment to the center there. And once you've got a nice uniform mixture, it should be a little bit of an off-white uh, color, you can get your dispensing container. Now mine's a larger dispensing container I'm using here. You may have a smaller one. You're going to weigh it empty. Once you've weighed it empty, your goal is to now incorporate all that ointment into, I should say, place all that ointment into the container. Don't do what I do here, which is slippery hands. Oops. You don't want to do that. So let's try that over again. Make sure that you've cleaned your hands off if you need to change your gloves and place that ointment into the ointment jar. You're trying to get as much as you can. Remember, we're trying to recover 100%, which is going to be nearly impossible. But we want to do an experiment here to determine how much loss we actually get when we make this so that next time we know how much more to make to incorporate for that loss. So once I have everything in the ointment jar, you'll notice it doesn't look elegant. It's not pharmaceutically elegant. 
You might want to use the smaller container that you'll have in lab, but I would want to show you visually here better with a larger two ounce jar. Now you can sometimes scrape the edges to push some of the ointment down towards the center. It makes it look a little more elegant when a patient opens up the jar. Nobody likes to see everything on one side or big holes in it. So I'm going to do that here and show you. But even when you do this, it still doesn't look as perfect, I think, as people would want. But over time, that ointment will settle to the bottom and it will look nicer. Another technique that you can do is you can put the lid on it and you can actually turn the container upside down. So I'm shaking the container upside down and pushing all the ointment to the top. And you will see that when you open it up, voila, you get a nice little twirly thing on top. It makes it look very nice and elegant to the patient when they open it up. All right. So now that we've got our container there, we want to make sure that we do uh, wipe off everything with paper towels. Don't try to clean it in the sink initially. It won't. Make sure you weigh your final container that has the ointment and determine the amount of ointment you recover. Now, and we're making 30 grams in the lab. You're determining how much of that 30 grams you were able to recover.